Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those don't apply to you. Welcome to Rick Frost. Hi, my name is Katie. Today, I am going to be popping this palette, Cherry. This is the Secret Garden palette by Bella Butte Bar. Sorry I'm late. This is the color story. This is the look I did. Obviously, it's like I've really been into a pink and green moment lately, so this is like really appropriate for my mood and also kind of on trend. It seems like there's been a few palettes that have come in with the same color story. Probably many of you feel like if you ordered one, you don't need to order the other. I can't disagree with that or agree. I ordered several, so it's like my jam. So I love pink and green together. I love fairies wear boots looks and all that. This was right up my alley and honestly, like I'm pretty much a Bella Butte Bar whore now, I, I'm pretty sure. I I do have a code with Bella Butte Bar. It's L-O-S-S-E-D and you can save 10% if you want to use it. If you want to purchase this or anything else, I'll have a link listed in the description box below. La 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 la, a little bit of housekeeping. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look or hearing my final thoughts on the palette or you want to see some swatches or I think I might be getting better at doing swatches and I might do some dark, I don't know, some dark so you can see the shifts and I mean, I might do some other stuff. I'm trying new things, okay? Or if you just like to watch, then hang out. Okay, let's go in for the swatchy poos. This is vintage. It's just like a white, or it's more like a cream color. Oh, it's my skin color. You guys can't tell, but this is a really, the swatch like was really good. You just can't see it because it's actually my exact skin tone. <laughs> just kidding, it's a little peach for me. This is Wander, or is that Wonder? Not sure. I'm not sure if it says Wander or Wonder. Probably not gonna be able to get all this whole thing on my arm. This is, why can't I read these? Gazebo, ooh, this is pretty for a neutral, boring color. Oh my word, that's actually really pretty. Actually, I think that might be a little holographic. Oh, you can see it, it's like a little bit hollowy. What? A surprise hollow? I, I think it is a little hollowy. You can see the hollows, the little hollows, not hollow like dead inside. <laughs> this is Hidden Door. Um, have any of you guys read The Secret Garden? Cause I've read The Secret Garden actually more than once, fucking loved it. I was very young when I read it. I feel like these swatches are kind of maybe leave a little to be desired. This is mahogany. This doesn't feel quite as buttery. It's probably a lot more pigmented. It's a little bit, um... A little gritty, maybe. Okay, this is Sun Shower. I really can barely read these, you guys. I'm so sorry. Ooh, this is fucking pretty. Stop it. It's all chunky and fucking, ooh. And it's like, okay, I would say it's not like, it's shifty as fuck, but it shifts from like a light pink to a bright pink. I'll try to get you guys some better lighting and better swatches like somewhere in the video. Damn, those colors look really cool. This is Serenity. This is like a nice pink to green shift. Ooh, that's so pretty. Damn, ooh, that pink is like, that's not what it looks like in the pan at all. That's a pink. This is, this color is like a something else color. It's like bright pink to green. This is Peony, and it's almost identical to the Peony and um, the Flower Moon palette. Hello Kitty. We'll call it Goodbye Kitty. <laughs> this is Damask. <laughs> I hope I'm reading these right. I can barely read them. Ooh, that's nice. That's a really nice color. Dang. <laughs> you gotta wear safety glasses for that one. This is Flora. 
wonder what's going to happen right now. The, this one is chunky as fuck. These are all really chunky. Okay, this is a really cool, like, ooh, that is not what it looks like. It's like a orangey coral to a, what do you guys see? That. <laughs> Damn, these are really creamy and like, let me see if you can. Super creamy. Damn, my finger. Look at my finger. It's like, <laughs> this is Water Lily. Love this color. I'm wearing it right now. It makes me so happy. It's fucking great. It better swatch good because I want you guys to be able to see it. Oh, it is swatching really good. Nice. Thank you. I love it. This is Butterfly. Also love this one. This is a beautiful like lime green and I swear to God there's like a goldy orangey shift in it. I wonder can oh yeah all you guys can see is the gold and the orange but it's like lime green as fuck. Damn that's so cute. Let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like. It's this one right here. It's just straight up like green. Like there it is. Okay, this is Daydream. This is very chunky as well. Let's see what happens right here. It's chunky, but it's not quite as creamy. It's like a pink to purple shift. What do you guys got? Yeah, pink to purple shift. And it's not purple. It's like orchid. Yeah, that's really nice. Damn, these colors are so cool. This is Rose. That's cute. That's probably a really nice blush color. Okay, this is strawberry. This is a really cool color. This is like one of like one of those ones where like every time I use a color that looks like this, I'm like, oh my god, that's so it's like this rich, like passionate red pink. Damn, that's really pretty. So I'm gonna go to the other arm. This is mist. I notice sometimes I just like space off and then I don't actually show you guys the swatch. <laughs> it hasn't happened very often, but it has happened a couple times, so I'll try to stop it. This is Oasis and I use this color. Love it. It's beautiful. It's like uh, aquamarine to purple. Oh man, you guys can't see it at all. I'll try to catch it on. Anyway, I'm wearing it and it is so pretty. Let me see if I can get you guys some some of that action. Not really. Okay, let me see. Well, it's got like a nice bright lavender shift. This is thistle. Ooh, this is a nice gritty shade. I'm sure it's pigmented. Oh yeah, super pigmented. That's like some kind of green right there. That's a creamier jeans green. This is Ivy. It's about midsies between creamy and gritty. I'm not sure how many swipes I just went in, but this is deserted. Oh, this is really, um, ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. You don't even need to go in for a second swipe. Wow, that's like green to orange. Wow, that's really cool looking. Damn, that's not quite what it looks like in the pan. Damn, that's foily. That's like hitting the foily, guys. Okay, this is Enchanted. This is pretty gritty. I feel like there's kind of a pattern of the grittier shades being better swatchers. Damn, can you see that color? Okay, this is Secrecy. This is very, ooh, this is holographic. Ooh, that's awesome. Ooh, 
You can see the hollow too and the shift. That's nice. Dang. That's really pretty. I feel like there's common, there's more common shifty colors that have been around for a long time. This is lock and key. Wow, these greens are crazy. Cream your jeans, greens, girls and men, my chicks and dudes. This is Imagine. This is a very fierce green to turquoise shift. I can't even keep these swatches on my finger because they're so creamy. Look, that's like wiped off. It just like spread like a fucking disease. And then this is Escape, which is about the same color as my skin again. All right, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to show you guys this way. All right, this is This is And I'm going to try to get you some dark lighting something. I'm going to try it right now. After that, we're gonna get into the look. Okay, so I'm already primed in my P. Louise Primer in Room 2, and I'm going to start with, okay, I'm kinda getting, you know, a few less options in my brushes, and they have shot hairs all over them, so hopefully it'll make my blend better. Mm, yeah, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, well, I mean, I know roughly exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Enchanted, there's so many cool looks in this palette, for real. Okay, so if you guys are noticing, I'm gonna use my Made by Mitchell ME1. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. I just wanna tell you guys, I'm not wearing any foundational products because I just started tretinoin again, and every time I start it, I always like run out and then like don't keep going with it and it makes you peel really bad and so my skin is peeling like really bad so this is like my skin I just threw some glowy tinted moist or er, tinted sunscreen on but it's like not tinted at all it's just glowy I don't like that <laughs> Ulta stopped selling my favorite kind of tinted sunscreen and then the other one that I like is like so expensive that I'm like well oh, skin cancer will wait I don't even care about skin cancer I just care about aging I'm just kidding I'm sorry. We all know what happens. We just don't think it's gonna happen to us. Oh my God, I have cat hairs everywhere. And every time I itch my face, my skin peels off. So it's like, I'm trying not to like rub it so it doesn't like get like a peely piece of skin. This is a really pretty color. It's not very dark though. I feel like this is a mid-tone for me, but as you guys know, I've been using bigger brushes lately just because it's felt easier and it is. It doesn't lay on pigment the same way my small Bold Morphe M506s do, but that's what makes it easier. It's just a lot easier to blend something out if you're not using a smaller dense brush. Damn, that looks really good. That blend just... I think I'm gonna use this. It's a Morphe M562. It's kind of a longer detailed brush. I thought this was a Sigma brush. This is the one, one of the ones my friend Tanya gave to me. So I'm just gonna use that because I want to just get the smallest, faintest line of this color to just kind of transition it up into this like lighter lime green that I really like a lot.
I don't think I'm gonna do a ton of talking today because I'm just trying to show up. Like sometimes we just gotta show up. We don't gotta bring it. We don't gotta bring the heat. Like sometimes just showing up is bringing the heat. God, look at that blend, wow. I can't tell if it's the shadows or the brush, but or me, but I will tell you right now, that is like one heck of a blend. When you use soft brushes, it's so easy to get a good blend that it's hard to tell if it's the shadow or, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use this Jessup 227 and I'm gonna go into Water Lily and this is like the cutest of cute. Yeah, I knew this was gonna be super pigmented and super cute. This is such a cute color, oh my gosh. So yeah, whenever I use Tretinoin, my face gets so sore, my skin gets like so sore. It's like, I don't know why people aren't talking about that when they talk about Tretinoin, but my face hurts really bad when I start to use it. All right, I'm going into the inner. You know, I've really been loving a like bright, limey, yellowy, green moment in the inner corner a lot lately. Okay, now we're gonna kind of see how this really blends because I'm kind of going into that dark where it's not that well blent. We'll just see. We'll see what's gonna happen here. I mean, a picture spit says a thousand words, right? I really noticed that I actually like sang you guys a straight up song in my last video. <laughs> Sometimes I sing on my videos, but then I edit it out cause I was like, uh. Normally I edit shit out of my videos because I like don't, my videos are already so long. Like it's gotten to the point where I just edit stuff out just because of sheer time. Oh man, that is pretty. I like it. So that e.l.f. glow, what is it? Sun touchable, whoa glow. I'm sure many of you have used it and you already love it. It smells a little weird, but it looks pretty. But anyways, it's supposed to act as a primer as well as a, sorry, this color is just so cool. I can't stop. Now I'm just going back into Enchanted, that's what I thought it was called. I'm just lightly, barely touching this so that I can get it. Oh, I didn't even do the other side, boo. I feel like I'm, I am having a little hard time building this color on the outside, but on the inside it's building just nicely. So maybe if you, maybe it's like, cause I'm packing it, but I'm not. So maybe it's just the angle. This color combination is adorable. I wonder how many videos have you guys seen with this color combination? Probably a ton. I'm sorry if you guys are bored. I usually try to do something different than what I think everybody else would do, but I just wanted this one. Man, that line I just got was perfection. There we go. Damn, that's so cute. Perfect, okay, now I'm going into that mid-shade mid -shade mist. I'm not sure if I told you guys that it was that, but. Get rid of these skid marks. Grr, grr, grr. Damn, this looks so pretty. This is beautiful. I mean, there's nothing else to say. This is beautiful. Shoot. This is really good. I'm just gonna quickly do the lower lash line. I don't understand how people can do the lower lash line and not look in the mirror. You know how they're like, oh, I just put it on my face. This is the kind of color that makes you look old on your lower lash line. The fan. Pastels, like really white base pastels like this are like, I mean, I know this is like a mix between a pastel and a, 
And yet, I just want to pack it in there. Mm. And as you guys know, I'm like one shade of yellow. So like green, if you get the right green, it will blend in with your skin so much. If you, you know, if you're a certain skin tone, if you get the right green, it will just look like, like I feel like this is really close to my skin color. No, but it's probably really close to some people's. I'm gonna use Oh What a Treat My Base Brush is, and I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna use my Zoeva 234, and I'm gonna go into Oasis. Okay, I wonder if this is actually gonna get picked up on my brush. Oh my gosh. Okay, listen, I'm having a hard time picking this up on my brush and I feel like this is like sort of a glittery shade that's like not glittery, God, not glittery. Everyone will freak out if it's glittery. So let's just not do that. It's just really sparkly and like faint. All right, and now I'm gonna go into Imagine with the other side and this is gonna perform very differently. As what I'm saying is I think this color is like actually like a, not a topper, it's not that translucent, but it's like more, um, it's, it's kind of like um, not opaque. It's like not an opaque shade. It's like, um, like you might even be able to use it as a highlighter. Damn, this is cute. Get out. Yeah, this pleases me. Yeah, that other color will overpower it with the quickness. Just doing the back. Um, that is so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna use this Morphe M431 and I'm gonna go into Butterfly. And I'm gonna use that for my inner corner highlight and other things. My inner corner highlight plus. Oh, oh, this is cute. Ooh, I look like a lily pad fairy. That's adorable. So this is the finished look. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So this is the manifesto, the PS de resistance. I used like Ardell or Kiss lashes. I'm not sure which one. I'm pretty sure they're Ardell, which maybe they're Kiss. I literally don't know. Um, I got them at Ulta. <clears throat> And then I use my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On in Glitzy Gold, my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, my Ritual Defi Highlighter in the Chimera, and my Glisten Cosmetics Gloss, uh, Multi-Chrome Gloss in Vega. And honestly, I don't know, you guys can't probably see this, but let me just try this. Let me just see if you can... See how it shifts to blue? It's just the most perfect. This palette is, okay, for one, this color story is so pretty, the one that I have on my eyes. It's like so great. And honestly, the colors blend really well. They seem a little more buildable because I use these bigger brushes. So it wasn't a great test of that. And so they just really like blend like butter. And I can't tell because I didn't use my Morphe M506. Now, the thing about the Morphe M506 and the reason why I use them so often is because they are really good at getting pigment like super packed and then also 
in smaller spaces. So I could actually, like if I wanted to put more colors in here, I wouldn't have been able to use my Voldemort VM5 or my, these bigger brushes if I wanted to do more colors. Or even if I wanted to do some more challenging color stories on my eyes. But as it sits right now, this was so fucking easy. And honestly, I'm certain it's because the shadows are really good. I know for a fact that these shadows are good because if it's the same formula as the, as the Dead Roses and the Ultraviolet, it's a really good formula. So either way, regardless, um, the color story is beautiful. The colors, this top shimmer that I have is sort of a chunkier formula. I think it's more of a flaky formula. It's not opaque and it's like more of a topper shade. Honestly, I think it would probably look really good over the top of just like a full matte lid. And honestly, I've been using a lot of colors lately that I've been thinking that. So I might um, just start doing that a little bit more just because it sounds fun and this is beautiful this combination that I used is like everything super easy just straight up like I literally basically just oh look at that can you see that purple shift I didn't know that was in there I, that's one thing that I kind of don't like about I'm okay so first things first I'm gonna say the two things that I don't I haven't liked about the Bella Butte bar palettes is that sometimes they put colors in these two colors right here have a purple shift and so that doesn't really match the rest of the palette like when you're looking straight on it's one thing but when you look see there's the purple shift you can see it in the mirror of the lighter shade right there I think you can see it let me there it is so it's like this palette doesn't have any purple in it, so it kind of doesn't match. And the Dead Roses palette was kind of like that too, where there was a lot of really cool pinks and reds that shifted to green and there was no green. However, it was a Dead Roses palette, so there was a place for green in that palette. But as far as the looks went, they didn't, the green didn't really match the rest of the look. So um, that's kind of a thing. And then also, um, they have the same lettering, um, the way that it's this holographic, like, metallic, foily lettering. And on my Dead Roses palette, this rubbed off before I even got done with my... Like, I did four looks with it, and the, and the lettering was rubbed off, which it kind of looks cool on the Dead Roses palette. But I am a little bit frightened that it's going to do that on this, which wouldn't be quite as fitting. But other than that, you guys know, I love this. The shifts are amazing. The shadows are beautiful. This look is beautiful. Everything, I feel, like, so pretty. And I love it. I had a lot of fun. I'm sorry I didn't talk more, but I just kind of wanted to do my makeup. So I hope you guys, I hope the look is good enough for you guys to enjoy the video, even though I didn't, wasn't like yammering on. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boy's charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got like halfway through this video and you're like, oh my God, she's so fucking pretty until she opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you were like, don't sugarcoat it, Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel then go check out my patreon because i don't hold anything back on my patreon thank you guys so much for watching you could have been anywhere but you were here wasting your time with me and i totally appreciate you later Slayer.